clavicle, anterior fibers of the deltoid, as well as the clavicular head of pectoralis major. So we see on the left, we have our real structure. On the right, we have our beautiful cartoonist structure with bodybuilder-like muscles. Now you see the reason why we need FAP, because they don't look the same. So the clavicle pectoral triangle is our reference structure. It is a very easily palpated structure, and it is what we're going to use in order to palpate all of the other things in this area. It is, it's just so, more compression. Exactly. So if I want to go down, all I'm going to do is generate more of like this. And start uh -huh. moving it. And then as she yeah, moves it, I'm going to generate that tension. I still haven't got any skin. So you can see what I'm doing here, more contraction, is I'm sinking my finger between the separation between the long head laterally and the short head medially. So you guys see that separation. We said the, the more you, you stretch out the, the structure, the easier it will be to feel that. I saw the separation between the clavicular head of pectoralis major, as well as the sternocostal portion of pectoralis major, which is down in here. And we talked about the fact that the clavicular head, en route to the tendon, flips over the sternocostal head in order to gain mechanical advantage for the actions of flexing and extension.